Welcome back to another episode of Tire Blogger. Starting with the tire diameter, the 205/60 R16 tire measures 25.69 inches, whereas the 205/55 R16 stands at 24.88 inches. This means the 205/60 R16 tire is 0.81 inches taller, potentially offering more ground clearance beneficial for off-roading. Remember this. The overall diameter difference is just over the 3% threshold, suggesting careful consideration if thinking of interchangeability based on this factor. On to the tire width. Both the 205/60 R16 and 205/55 R16 have a width of 8.07 inches. This means both tires offer similar traction capabilities during acceleration, braking, and cornering. Discussing the sidewall height. The 205/60 R16 showcases a sidewall height of 4.84 inches, compared to the 205/55 R16, which measures 4.44 inches. This means the 205/60 R16 tire's sidewall is 0.4 inches taller, potentially offering a smoother ride, as it can absorb more of the road's imperfections. Let's wrap up with the revolutions per mile. The 205/60 R16 completes 785.21 rotations per mile, while the 205/55 R16 manages 810.68 revolutions per mile. This suggests the 205/55 R16 tire spins a tad more often, potentially leading to slightly more tire wear than its counterpart. If you're seeking a tire that offers a slightly more cushioned ride and better ground clearance, the 205/60 R16 might be the right choice for you. Both tires present the same width, hence similar traction capabilities. The 205/55 R16, having a shorter sidewall, could give a sportier appearance but might lead to a marginally harsher ride. It also rotates slightly more per mile, suggesting potentially quicker wear. Given the similarities in width and the adherence to the 3% rule in diameter, both tires can be considered as viable options depending on specific needs.